so much for tuning in to watch this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to get notified when new videos drop. If you'd like to better support this DIY channel, don't forget to like this video, drop a comment, and give it a share. And if you'd like to drop a tip so that I can keep creating new videos for you guys, use the thanks button below. I'm Eric. I'm Bonner. Eric. Lyle. Dennis. <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> Woo! So I was not expecting this. There are a lot more members here that you have added to your live set tonight. Can we talk about this? Yeah. <laughs> what is, what's happening here? Well, we did a lot of stuff on the album and uh, we wanted to bring it to life. And for the new album, we wanted to add a lot of things that you know, you can't do with just four people. So we added Julanda here, who's a beautiful background vocalist, really makes the whole set pop. Um, Lyle came in to, to sub in on drums and he's been amazing um, writing the new music and doing a killer job. And then we got Dennis over here. <laughs> uh, that's Dennis and Dennis plays guitar. And uh, Dennis and Eric have been friends for a really long time because... Not this Eric. Not me. Yeah, this Eric. I Other it. Eric. This Eric. Okay. So how do we differentiate the two Eric's in the band? He's that's Eric. That's Sherman. Okay. okay. Biggie Lily. Big dog, little dog. <laughs> You guys are a relatively new band. The first time I heard about you was when I interviewed Big Dog, Eric, um, like a year and a half ago. And that was when you guys were kind of just getting your album out. Now it's out. You've got your 25 song album out as well as two other singles. Can you talk about the process of making your album? Yeah, it was COVID. We were uh, locked at Eric's house and uh, we just wanted to make a lot of music. We were really bored and we wrote a lot of songs. And then uh, Eric sent one of them to Paul Leary from the Butthole Surfers, who has worked with Sublime a lot in the past. And uh, he wanted to do an album with us. And we went and did an album with Sonic Ranch. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. But you guys said that um, you spent a lot of time out in the desert, right? Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing in the desert? What were you doing in the desert? Farming balls. Frying balls. Yeah. What? Yeah, we went out to the desert, did a bunch of peyote, said, and started the band. He said frying balls, and he wasn't talking about cooking. Yeah. That's what I figured. I just I just wanted to confirm that. But yeah. usually when you go to the desert to make music and the type of music that you guys are making, I figured um, there were some substances involved. Yeah, just the good ones. <laughs> yeah. I did hear in another interview you guys talking about working with a shaman in DMT and like being told that you are gluten intolerant with a loaf of bread placed on you. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What okay, was that? Nardwar. Nardwar. No, Nardwar. no yeah. it wasn't. It was, it that was haven't you remember the loaf of bread, dude? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah that happened. Um, that was an experience. I don't really, I don't really know what to say about that other than. Uh, He's not gluten intolerant. I'm not. <laughs> maybe I am, but I fucking love bread. So, 
What yeah. a weird way to tell you you're gluten intolerant. Dude, he put a loaf of bread on me, he put ketchup on me. He's like, he's like, you shouldn't be eating nightshades. So I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, we're realigning your body. I'm like, wow. okay. So where did you guys find the shaman? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. Yeah. Shout out Danny Way. Legend. Shaman plug. <laughs> Legend. Well, so let's talk, let's talk more about the music and, and you know, maybe the yeah, drugs yeah, behind I'm so <laughs> Oh, are you? Yeah. What do you mean, like permanently or just in this moment? No, no. <laughs> Currently. <laughs> like 10 months. Oh, good for you. Yeah. High fives. <laughs> Kudos. Kudos. <laughs> About the music and yeah. um, the process that you guys did making this these songs. I mean, 25 songs is a big album to drop for your first one. Yeah, we were bored. It was COVID. <laughs> we couldn't play shows. We write a lot of songs. We got 100 songs at least for the next album, and it's like, you know, that's the easy part. Writing songs is easy. Well, so the two Eric's, can we share your guys' experiences making these songs? Eric, you shared a little with me in our last interview. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Microphone. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was a good time. <laughs> you, you wanna you wanna talk a little bit about them? Uh, it was it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. We don't I just I, to I do. say the same thing he says, but I say it you know different. Different. So you did it smaller. 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 Yeah, yeah. smaller. Smaller. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Come on, guys! Give me, the dirt. Me. Give, me give me some more about about your songs. What are some of your favorite songs? My my favorite of yours is Sabotage. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, uh, wrote that at my girlfriend's apartment um, when I was in New York for like just a tiny little stretch, and then Eric just brought it to life. And that's my favorite bass line on the album too. It's like I always tell Eric, I'm like, if someone wanted to learn how to play bass. That would be the bass line to learn. Because he just uses the whole neck of the bass. And yeah. it's just a beautiful bass line. Yeah. That's awesome. So, but the two of you came from New York, and that was kind of how the band formulated. So, what what made the two of you come out together? Were you guys just friends, or like you were trying to make it in music? Like, we were in a band in New York, and it uh, broke up unfortunately. And then uh, we had some connections out in California. And we got a one-way ticket out to LA. And it turns out we were going to San Diego to meet Danny Way. We didn't know that he lived in San Diego. So we ended up in San Diego living with Danny Way for like six months. He introduced us to Wade and Rick Hogg. Wade introduced us to Eric Wilson. And then Eric took us to the desert. Eric took us to the <laughs> desert. And uh, we never left. So how long were you guys in the desert? Are we still not in the desert? I don't know where we are. We were uh, we were in the desert for a couple days, uh, but we went back to the desert a lot. We were going to the desert a lot, yeah, um, just to jam. Like, like the day after we went to his house and played with him for the first time, he called or he texted me and he's like, "Come out to the desert tomorrow. Um, meet me at my house." And we get to his house and he's got the entire jam set up, packed in a in, in, in a trailer. And we went out and played to nobody, just with a bunch of generators, played with spirits, and then we went on the desert. Yeah. That's awesome. 
That's awesome. I have heard you guys say <laughs> numerous times that you don't practice that much. You prefer to kind of play live, and that's where you kind of cut your teeth and really learn the rhythms of the band. Uh, we practice. We, we, we started practicing now. We, started we practice, practice now. Good for you. Lyle's really good at practicing. I think we write more, which is cool. I think we write a lot more, and it's more at building chemistry, which is awesome. Like, it's a new method for me, but I've really loved embracing it, and I feel like it's made me a better player. Dennis doesn't come to practice, really, though. He's come to, like, three. Yeah. He doesn't and Julanda doesn't come to practice because she doesn't need to practice. Yes, I do need to practice. No, she's so Is good. it that I don't so need good. to practice? No, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so did you guys have a practice sesh before tonight's show, or are you just are winging it tonight? No, we've had like, like the most shows not being on tour that we've had in a long time. We're playing every Thursday at the Rabbit Hole in okay. our summer tour, so we have that every single week. Plus, we have probably one or two of these other shows. <laughs> which I hadn't been on in like a year and then he DM'd me or inboxed me like two seconds later like you want to play with Wild Fest? It's like yes. Actually he asked me if we want to play with 311 and I said yes. And he <laughs> said you want to play with Wild Fest? And I'm like yeah. Yeah absolutely I want to play with Wild Fest. That's so cool. Yeah. It's awesome. So what are the songs you're looking forward to the most tonight for your set? All the new ones. All the new ones? Which new ones? Do you have more new ones than oh. the pre-release new ones? Or are there oh, more new ones? Oh, no, no, no. We're not going to play those. Those are songs we did with Danny Way. Um, but no, all the new ones are brand spanking new. They're going to be on the next album. That's awesome. I'm excited to hear them. Yeah. Precious Cargo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Keep having to duck and cover. Yeah. Half, the, half the time I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real thing. You need Eric's glasses. I know. Eye protection. You have eye protection on there. I should. You don't use protection. But I, <laughs> the drummer. Oh my god. So what else is coming up for you guys? We're just playing a bunch of shows. We're really excited about the rabbit hole residency every Thursday in San Diego. We're playing with a lot of bands. Building up the local community. Really, really fun. It's great. And uh, yeah, then we're going to go on uh, the Sublime Summer Tour. We do the after party and then every show. Yeah. Every city. Um, you guys graduated. The last interview I saw when you guys were talking about that, you were joking about playing in the parking lot to the people in line. Yeah, we graduated. We got actual venues. Yeah, yeah we had, we were told we weren't allowed to do that. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So, so Live Nation was gonna be. You shook you shook them down. You're like, all right, give us the venue then. Oh no, we got the venues ourselves. No one gave us anything. That was that was That's all this here. guy. Woo! He booked every single show. Um, it's actually really amazing how much work you put in to make that happen. happen for bands that are maybe getting started <laughs> yes send emails like allocate a lot of time to just crafting a solid email that's pretty short that has a lot of good like highlights really short you don't need a press kit you don't need any of that just like in bullet points hyperlink keep it simple and then 
send a shitload of emails to all the venues in the to area. everything to everyone and then kind of work down by what you got and then just do it like that but it's not that hard if you just send a lot of emails and you should be able to send hundreds of emails in not that long a time and make them personalized with like the subject to like have the venue name and you know just don't mass email everyone have it some personality to it I can second that that's how this channel was founded lots and lots of no's and lots and lots of emails yep. short ones with bullet points yep. <laughs> I feel like this is the quiet side over here. Can we get you guys okay, talking? Yeah, can we, get them talking. Can we get can we get you guys to participate sure. in this? Sure. You guys look like you're just having a great time over there. Well, Dennis doesn't want to talk. <laughs> What's coming up in your world? I'm nobody. And everybody. What's coming up in your world? Um, just singing with the band and living my life, having a good time. Sing with the band, living my life. Truly the secret yeah. weapon right here. Okay, well I can ask some questions, but you didn't know they were gonna be here, so I'll ask them. Question. Yes, I did not know. Okay, so yeah, you this was know. news to me. We keep it fresh. We have lots of surprises. I know you shocked the show to me. I was like, whoa. This is what we do. This is like double the amount of people I was expecting. Now you're ready for the show. <laughs> so, Julanda, what is it like playing with us, and um, how is it different than any other performances <laughs> you've ever done? Okay, so. Um, I've been playing with the band. It has been about a year. Okay. That's um, exciting. About a year. And I, um, it has been really amazing. I'm, I'm a budget analyst by day. So it's something totally different than what I have ever experienced. And I'm, a, I'm also a gospel singer. So, um, you know. That's amazing. From going from gospel to, to, you know, alternative or whatever genre this is. Yeah. <laughs> has been really good. Psychedelic. Yeah. Rock. Been really nice. <laughs> but that adds a lot. I mean, you see a lot of artists doing that now, you know, bringing that element in, like Social Distortion does that a lot, and it just, it, it brings some, some, like, the soul to, oh. yeah, the soul. <laughs> Watching Last Rockers TV. 